Hello students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss few questions related to aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid and the pattern is NIT exam pattern. So friends, let's start with the question answer round. Now my first question is look at what is given here. That is wait for a moment. The CH3CHO, okay. C6H5CH2CHO can be distinguished chemically by which test? That is, as we all know, wait for a moment, that is, if I talk about CH3CHO, if I talk about C6H5, clear, CH2, then CHO, these all, these two aldehyde is aliphatic aldehyde, clear, yes sir aliphatic aldehyde but if i compare this with c6 h5 cho this one is aromatic aldehyde clear aromatic aldehyde now what the question say CS3, CHO, both are aliphatic aldehyde, then we people can say they can give, they will give Benedict test, Tollens reagent test and failing zone. This is very simple. This test of all for aliphatic aldehyde. Now, what about the iodoform test? This is the prime concern. As we know, iodoform test are given by those, those carbonyl compound which have CS3, CO linkage. Clear? or those alcohol which have CS3, CH, OH linkage like ethyl alcohol. Now in this case what we observe in case of CS3, CHO, this is CS3, CHO, in case of CS3, CHO there is CS3, CO linkage. If there is CS3, CO linkage, then, though, uh, then the carbonyl compound gives positive iodoform test. Check it out. CS3, CHO, CS3, CHO. So, acetaldehyde gives positive, positive iodoform test. Yes, sir that gives positive iodoform test but I am moving here but if we compare this with look at what I am telling listen carefully if we compare this with C6H5 CH2 CHO there is no CH3 CO linkage so it will not perform positive iodoform test so Finally, we can say these two can be distinguished by using what? By using positive iodoform test and the reaction in this case that is CHI3 plus SCONA plus NAI clear to you plus H2O. This is the reaction, but in case of CH6H5, CH2, CHO, no reaction take place. There is no such reaction. I2 and then NaOH, no such reaction take place. Clear? Now I'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question. So for this question, wait for a moment, we people can observe that is B is the correct option. For question number one, B is the correct option. Now I'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the ne next question.
Now let's move to the question number two. A strong base can abstract an alpha hydrogen. This is alpha hydrogen. Clear to you? What is given here? A strong base can abstract an alpha hydrogen from, as we know, just recall your memory, what is given here? An strong base can abstract an alpha hydrogen. That means to say they are talking about aldol condensation. And which compounds give aldol condensation? Do you remember? Yes, sir, we do. That is aldehyde and ketones. So, what will happen in this case? Which type of reaction they will give? If I take aldehyde, do you remember? That is, they forms aldol. That is CS3, CHO, this is aldehyde. Again, we put here COH and CH3. Clear to you? This can be written like this, or you may also write like this. That is H and uh, sorry. This one is double bond O and this one is H. This is the two moles of aldehyde when treated with base or acid. They combine and form this is C, this is H, put here OH, then C. Clear to you? This is known as aldol condensation. That is a strong base can abstract alpha hydrogen. Clear to you? One more thing I have to mention here. That is the alpha hydrogen. Now, here one noticeable thing. I am removing this and the best example is here. Look at what I am telling. If I put here CS3. C double bond O, that is CS3. Now you can easily understand by this example also. This one is alpha, this one is alpha, carbon. So this hydrogen are alpha hydrogen and this hydrogen are alpha hydrogen. So what will happen in presence of acid or in presence of base? What will happen? They give CS3, that is COH, Clear to you? Now, wait for a moment. C, CH3, that is CS3, clear? That is OH, then CO, then CH3. This is the component. Let me check once. That is C double bond O, CH3, then CH3. Clear to you? Now, CH2, then H, then C double bond O, then CH3 in presence of base or acid. What will happen? This bond will break and this will come here and form CH3, COH, then wait for a moment. Let me note down CH2, then C double bond O CSC. Now you can easily understand by this example. This is a base, presence of a strong base can abstract an alpha hydrogen from ketone. Alpha hydrogen, this hydrogen is alpha. There are many more reactions. This hydrogen is alpha hydrogen. So we people can say a strong base. What? That is it. Uh, forms that is we know that is carbonyl ca uh, carbon is electron deficient species so in this case that is if there is a presence of base then ketones abstract an alpha hydrogen so a strong base can abstract an alpha hydrogen from ketone this is the best example i have taken the aldehyde to best by using this example you can easily understand so for question number two we people can say that c is the correct option. Now let's move to the next segment. Next question. What will happen? Check it out. Now question number three. 
the product formed in aldol condensation as i told you in my previous uh, example the pro the product form in aldol condensation is one a beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone is simple so for question number 3 b is the correct option clear i have given the example in my previous lecture again you can write that is cs3 co cs3 clear to you that is what will happen that is so uh, it gives you cs3 then c then cs3 put here oh then cs2 then co then cs3 alpha and beta hydro oxy ketone if i talk about aldehyde cs3 cho then what will happen in presence of a base it gives you cs3 ch oh okay then uh, then ch2 then coh clear to you wait for a moment yes this is the perfect reaction again i'm going to explain i hope in my last uh, observation i have written the wrong one that is in case of aldehyde look at ch3 cho double bond o here is h then h ch2 then c double bond oh this will come here that is it forms cs3 ch oh then uh, here comes this one is h that is ch2 this one is come this shows that is alpha and beta hydroxy aldehyde and ketone so for this question b is the correct option now this is the correct explanation check it out now let's move to the next question what is the next question that is let's uh, read the question carefully what is given here that is wait for a moment friend a carbonyl compound react with hydrogen cyanide to form cyanohydrin okay which on hydrolysis forms a racemic mixture which on hydrolytic forms a racemic mixture of alpha hydroxy acid Uh, the carbonyl compound is what is the carbonyl compound either it is acetaldehyde it either it is uh, ketone or something else look at what i'm telling that is what is given here check it out a carbonyl compound react with hydrogen cyanide this one is carbonyl compound is react with hydrogen uh, cyanide given here then what will happen sir it's very simple it will form cyanohydrin that is c this one oh and this one cn clear to you oh and cn okay now on hydrolysis further hydrolysis that is two situation complete hydrolysis gives alpha hydroxy acid partial hydrolysis gives you amide so the product here is c that is oh then c double oh alpha hydroxy acid clear now read the question second part that is the carbonyl compound a react with hydrogen cyanide on uh, which on hydrolysis from a racemic mixture if there is a racemic mixture then definitely this carbon that is uh, this carbon contains the asymmetric group here that is if one is cs3 that is the second one is definitely h if one is cs3 and other is cs3 then it will not form a racemic mixture because this one is not optically active now what will happen if the, if i take that is asymmetric carbon ch3 and h then what will happen check it out cs3 now h clear now put here cs3 now h clear now put here cs3 then h now in this case what will happen that is they are optically active it will exist in two racemic form the two racemic form is wait for a moment that is dln form optically active why optically active this one is chiral center chiral carbon 
clear, uh, clear friend so they form that is d l n form c there is c here is o h clear to you that's one this one is c s 3 now this one is h and this one is c double o h one a uh, wait for a moment check it out c then c s 3 okay now c h one form o h two carbon okay wait for a moment so sorry that is c clear to you one cyanohydrine that is the acetaldehyde put here c double o h that is put here o h put here h or put here c h 3 that is the first form and again if you move this one this one is gives you l form so we people can say that in this case if there is a asymmetrical position that is c s 3 and h that is the chiral center and chiral center is optically active optically active and optically active that is it forms d and l isomer clear to you what i'm telling it gives you d and l form clear friend so now we can easily observe that in case of this that is the answer is nothing that is l acetaldehyde for question number four a is the correct option now friend wait for a moment Let's move to the next segment, next question. What is What will happen? Check it out. Look at the next question. Which one of the following can be oxidized to the corresponding carbonyl compound? 2-hydroxypropane, that is CS3, CH, OH, CS3. What is oxidation take place? As we know, oxidation gives you ketone, CS3, CO, CS3 and this is a carbonyl compound. So, we people can say which of the fall, which one of the following can be oxidized to give uh, to the uh, can be oxidized to the corresponding carbonyl compound. This one is 2-hydroxypropane. So, here this is not a correct uh, name. The actual name is 1, 2, 3. Propane 2 ol What is the actual name? That is IUPSC, correct IUPSC name, propane 2 ol Clear? So, for question number 5, we can say A is the correct option. Clear? Now, let's move to the next one. What will happen next? Check it out. Now, that is question number 6. Aldol condensation as we will not take place in as we, this is a simple question as we know aldol condensation was given by those carbonyl compound which contain at least one alpha carbon at is uh, at is one alpha hydrogen that I am telling. But if I talk about CS3, CHO clear to you here look at this one is alpha carbon that is it contains alpha hydrogen if i talk about cs3 co cs3 this one is alpha carbon this one is alpha carbon and uh, the hydrogen attached to alpha carbon is known as alpha hydrogen we people know so aldehyde acetaldehyde ketone can give similar in the case cs3 cho also here is cs3 ch2 cho Look at this one is alpha, this one is beta carbon. So, it also contain that is beta hydrogen. But if I talk about HCHO, look at this one, this does not contain alpha carbon. So, it does not have alpha hydrogen. So, if does not have any alpha hydrogen, then we people can say it will not so aldol condensation. So, for this question, we people can say A is the correct option. For question number 6, A is the correct option. Clear? Now, friend, I am going to rub this part and we will discuss the next one. Wait for a moment.
नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन आइडोफॉर्म टेस्ट इज नॉट गिवेन वाई वॉट इज द रूल ऑफ आइडोफॉर्म टेस्ट एज वी नो इफ देयर इज अ सी एस थ्री सी ओ लिंकेज और इफ देयर इज अ सी एस थ्री सी एच ओ एच लिंकेज देन दो कंपाउंड दो मॉलिक्यूल्स कैन परफॉर्म आइडोफॉर्म टेस्ट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट टू पेंटेनोन सी एस थ्री सी एच टू दैट इज सी पेंटेनोन सी एस थ्री सी एस टू सी एस टू देन सी ओ सी एच थ्री दिस इज टू पेंटेनोन काउंट द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव दैट इज टू पेंटेनोन टू पेंटेन ओन टू पेंटेन ओन ओके नाउ लुक एट हेयर इज द लिंकेज सी एस थ्री सी ओ सो इट विल गिव पॉजिटिव आइडोफॉर्म टेस्ट नाउ चेक आउट द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज इथेनॉल सी एस थ्री सी एस टू ओ एच क्लियर टू यू नाउ इफ आई राइट लाइक दिस दैट इज सी एच थ्री दैट इज सी एच ओ एच दैट इज इट कंटेन दिस लिंकेज सो इफ देयर इज अ सी एस थ्री सी एच ओ एच लिंकेज देन अगेन इट गिव पॉजिटिव आइडोफॉर्म टेस्ट नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इथेनल द थर्ड ऑप्शन द इथेनल इज सी एस थ्री सी एच ओ क्लियर नाउ चेक इट आउट इट कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस सी एस थ्री सी ओ एच क्लियर टू यू लुक एट इट ऑल्सो कंटेन सी एस थ्री सी ओ लिंक सो इट विल ऑल्सो गिव द पॉजिटिव आइडोफॉर्म टेस्ट नाउ मूविंग हेयर चेक इट आउट दैट इज इफ आई राइट लाइक दिस द सेकेंड वन इज थ्री पेंटेन ऑन सी एच थ्री सी एच वेट फॉर अ मोमेंट सी एच टू ओ वेट C एस थ्री सी एच टू सी ओ सी एस टू सी एस थ्री क्लियर टू यू दिस वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव थ्री पेंटेनॉन इन दिस केस लुक एट नॉट सी एस थ्री सी ओ लिंकेज प्रेजेंट सो वी विल से दैट इट विल नॉट परफॉर्म पॉजिटिव आइडो फॉर्म टेस्ट आई एम मूविंग हेयर चेक इट आउट सो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इट नाउ वी कैन इजिली प्रेडिक्ट नाउ वी कैन इजिली एज्यूम दैट इज डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इट विल नॉट सो पॉजिटिव आइडो फॉर्म टेस्ट चेक इट आउट चेक आउट द एक्सप्लेनेशन सी एस थ्री सी ओ लिंकेज सी एस थ्री सी एच ओ एच लिंकेज सो इन दिस केस फर्स्ट वन सेकेंड वन एंड थर्ड वन विल सो पॉजिटिव आइडो फॉर्म टेस्ट बट द फोर्थ वन विल नॉट सो पॉजिटिव आइडो फॉर्म टेस्ट क्लियर टू यू आई एम गोइंग टू रब दिस पार्ट एंड विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेट फॉर अ मोमेंट now question number 8 acetone react with iodine to form iodoform this is very simple acetone react with iodine to uh, to form iodoform in presence of universal reaction remember this cs3 co cs3 plus i2 yes sir plus n a o h it gives you c h i 3 c s 3 c double o n a plus n a i plus h 2 o if there is any mistake in the balancing you can do it this is a simple thing let's again check c h i 3 c s 3 c double o n a 3 n a i plus 3 h 2 o so what is the answer we just need this one that is n a o h so we can say for this question it is very simple that is n a o h is the correct option now friend i am going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question wait for a moment now the next question is question number 9 aldehyde and ketone will not form crystalline derivatives 
that is it's very simple aldehyde is a theory type aldehyde and ketone will not form crystalline derivative with dihydrogen sodium phosphate because in dihydrogen sodium phosphate in this case there is no lone pair of electron present in uh, um, phosphorus so it will not act as a nucleophile so we can say aldehyde and ketone will not form crystalline derivatives with dihydrogen sodium phosphate so for question number nine d is the correct option now i'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next one wait for a moment the question number 10 self condensation of two moles of ethyl acetate self condensation of two moles of ethyl acetate in presence of sodium ethoxide gives you it's very simple self condensation ethyl acetate that is CH3, CH2, C double O, C2H5. Clear to you? Two moles of ethyl acetate in presence of sodium ethoxide. What will happen in this case? Sir, tell me. It can be written like this. CH3. CH2, COO, clear, acetic ester, ethyl acetate, now, in, that is C, uh, ethyl acetate, so, that is the uh, thing, sorry, not C2, H5, CH3, COO, CH3, two moles, two moles of ethyl acetates what in presence of sodium ethoxide it gives us uh, very simple it gives you acetoacetic ester clear to you what i'm telling you it gives acetoacetic ester i think now you can easily solve such questions now Let's move to the revision for question number one. CS3, CHO and C6, H5, CH2, CHO can be distinguished by using Idoform test for question number one. B is the correct option. A strong base can abstract an alpha hydrogen from ketone. C option for question number three. That is beta hydroxy aldehyde and ketone. For question number three, B is the correct option. For question number four, a carbonyl compound react with hydrogen cyanide to form cyanohydrin, which on hydrolysis forms a racemic mixture of alpha hydroxy acid. The carbonyl compound is, sir, is very simple. The carbonyl compound is, tell me, acetone, alpha hydroxy acid, wrong racemic mixture, acetaldehyde, clear? A is the correct option. For question number 5, what? That is A is the 2 hydroxypropane. For question number 6, aldol condensation, that is A is the correct option. For question number 7, tell me what will idoform test is not given by D, that is 3 pentanone. For question number 8, what will happen? NaOH. For B is the correct option. For question number 9, aldehyde and ketones will not form crystalline derivatives with dihydrogen sodium phosphate. D is the correct option. For question number 10, self condensation of two moles of ethyl acetate in presence of sodium ethoxide, it gives you acetoacetic ester. Clear friend, what I'm telling, acetoacetic uh, ester. So, for this question, B is the correct answer. Clear? So, I think now you can easily solve such kind of questions. So, friend, time is calling. Time to say bye-bye. Thank you so much.